Hello, comrades. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. That's right. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. We're back. We're back in the world of the Potato Republic. And honestly, as ever, things are things are actually looking up. <laughs> things are <laughs> things are looking up. The reason that things are always looking up is because you know things are never really that bad uh, on the whole. And we spent a good chunk of time in the last episode making sure that we just had a whole bunch of processes that were just humming and they were working properly. Uh, we got a couple of important upgrades done. And to be honest, I'm really really happy with where uh, with where this republic actually is now. The reason that we're starting yet again uh, over in Stalnoy is because. I, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it, and I've been thinking about all of the comments that everyone has been uh, that everyone has been leaving. Thank you, as ever, for uh, for those comments. Very, very greatly appreciated. They always help shape the direction of uh, of the series, and uh, you know they're always they're always really helpful and they're always really constructive. So for that, I thank you sincerely. Uh, one thing that a couple of people were saying was, um, I think they'd really like to see the establishment of a second steel mill. Now, this is possible for a couple of reasons. First of all, I don't even think that we're close to maxing out the capacity of this ore processing plant. Put it this way, uh, the iron that we have uh, refined in large quantities in this large aggregate storage isn't really being used, plus we've not even started uh, to think about the, the third uh, iron ore processing plant, and to be honest, we should think about it. I don't know why we haven't thought about it up until now. Uh, we should we should do it. We should... Uh, we should build these. We should build these uh, these facilities, and we should get it set up. And the reason that we should get it set up is because we want to get ourselves a brand new steel mill. That's right. I said it. We're going to freaking do it. Where on earth we're going to do it, though? That remains to be seen. Uh, that remains to be seen. We're going to have to we're going to have to think about this. Let me see. Can we resume construction on this? Ah, I just build it. Fine. Uh, yeah. So, in an ideal world, it would still be in this in this proximity. I think last time I mooted the possible idea of building a steel mill, like, around here. I think I still like that. I think I still like that. Um, we're gonna sort of work it out and see if we can see if we can make it happen. But yeah, basically the idea is to try and get uh, another steel mill up and running. Uh, whilst I'm on the topic of addressing uh, comments, we should probably talk about farming. The thing about farming, the thing about farming is that I have basically not touched farming at all uh, over the course of over the course of this game. I mean, this area. Oh yeah, that's on fire, by the way. Uh, okay, it's being it's being extinguished. Cool. Thing about farming is that we're we're managing to farm, but um, truthfully, there are, there are some problems. There are some problems. In fact, actually, there are more problems now than there ever have been. Uh, probably because all of these uh, these silly little. A uh, silly little, uh, what are they called? What, are, what Forklifts, that's the term. Uh, all of these silly little forklifts just ain't really, ain't really cutting it. And there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of traffic here. There's a lot of grain traffic that needs to be, uh, that needs to be moved around. The really frustrating element of all of it is that the food factory just is not able to export enough product. I wonder if there's perhaps, I wonder if there is perhaps a way that we can change that. There is a way that we can change that. What is this? This is the road cargo station that picks up from the cargo station over here. We can pick up directly from the food factory. Yeah, let's pick up directly from the food factory. So load bread if percentage is above zero and still continue to unload it over uh, over yonder. Yeah, that should that should work. I hope we should see a couple of a couple of trucks start to move. Alternatively. They might not start to move. Don't know why they would uh, they would not do that unless we were already filled with food over here, which we absolutely are. Maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe part of the problem is that we're just we just don't have enough boats working on the the food route. So anyway, yeah, food is definitely like an element. There is a significant amount of money that can be saved on food. I mean, if we look at import of resources, for example, I would not be su yep I would not be surprised if food was the largest. And indeed, I have been proven. Uh, absolutely categorically correct on that matter. The problem is, though, the problem is that we don't actually have a very effective food distribution network. I know we have this harbor set up, but let's be brutally honest. This takes years and years and years and years and years. Uh, it's not hugely efficient because we're moving alcohol as well as food. Plus, these river cargo ships, they're actually kind of, they're actually kind of bad. They only carry like 85 tons of food. And that's just not very much. That is just not very much at all. So... You know, there's definitely a couple of improvements with regards to the food production process and the food growing process that we can make. But the real, the real bonuses are going to lie, I think, 
I think, in the uh, in the food transportation process. So that's uh, another thing for us to look at. There's the station that's on fire here. That's kind of problematic, actually. That is kind of problematic in the worst way. There we go. Okay, we'll we'll extinguish that fire uh, reasonably quickly. So yeah, that's another thing that we definitely need to look at. And also, you know, distributing food to all of the supermarkets that we have scattered around the, the map. I mean, the small shopping center over here, for example, we're not even attempting. We're not even attempting to supply food to come to some of these places. And, um, and to be honest, even if we were going to do this, it would still be a fairly large undertaking. Again, because of the size of the, because of the size of the map. I mean, we would need a good number of distribution centers. And I dare say it's, it's very, very doable. It's just going to be somewhat complicated. I mean, we have a distribution setup down, down here, right? So we have a distribution setup right here. So this is, this is where we store a whole bunch of food. But again, we don't store that much food and we, we don't receive that many food deliveries. Uh, from here, it's taken by, what is it, this facility? Yeah, it's this facility and it unloads to a whole bunch of restaurants, a whole bunch of shopping centers. It unloads to a couple of hotels. Uh, notably, not this hotel or this hotel, which it should do. Uh, yep, so that's what it does. But again, you know, we just don't have enough... We don't have enough food coming through. We've got plenty of alcohol, but we've got nowhere near enough food. So maybe that's something that we can sort out pretty swiftly, actually. We'll we'll think about sorting that out right now, in fact, because that would be that would be great if we could sort. Uh, we do supply Yeah, we do supply here with food, but again, it's it's only it's only when we get uh, when we get deliveries, as far as I'm aware. I don't think that we have a consistent a consistent supply. Yeah, we just don't have a... We don't have a consistent supply of food. And we also need more distribution offices, right? Like, we just need more trucks that are able to, to travel the distance. Anyway, so this is, like, all done from, from this harbor. All of the food distribution in this area is done from this harbor and this network here. If we want to fix it, all we need to do is add another boat or two to this uh, to this loop and add another distribution office that can help that can help with the, the load. So that's that's fine. At Kolovskysky, we ain't got nothing. We got no infrastructure. We've got absolutely nothing here to to do with uh, to do with food distribution. And in fact, we don't even have a connection up to the road. Let's rectify that right now. I don't know why, but I'm I'm thinking that you know food might be quite a productive uh, quite a productive use of time actually. That is a horrific road if ever I've seen one, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, so that's over there. Also, adding a couple of extra houses to this vicinity would be brilliant. And in fact, I think I'm going to queue that up right about now. There's been a couple of suggestions. There's been a couple of suggestions in the comments about houses that I can use to, uh, to, or can download from the, uh, from the workshop in order to add a little bit of variety to the, uh, to the Glorious Republic. To that, I would say, yes, bring them on. Anyone with any mod suggestions, I will always happily take mod suggestions because mods are cool and the mods for this game are uh, quite good, actually. Very, very good. Very, very high quality. And uh, there's always there's always a good couple that, uh, that I know I can add. Am I seriously not going to find... Yeah, there we go. Am I seriously not going to find any locations? There we go. And one more. Cool. Alright, so that should be three. I'm just going to let this sort of build up as and when. Now, that's disappointing. Okay, well. Build that. We'll fund it, and then the uh, the trucks should be automatically assigned. We've got plenty of construction facilities here. We've got concrete facilities. We've got prefab panels. Everything we got, we've got nearby. So, uh, so that's kind of great. Very, very, very happy with that. And this is hopefully going to mean that my citizens will no longer start to starve over at these flats over here and die young. Look, average lifespan, 36 years. Wow, that is, that is truly something. A lot of people are pretty disparaging of Kolovskysky, in a, in a very jovial way, of course, but a lot of people are saying, hey, maybe I should set up a brand new coal processing area. Here's the thing. I don't actually think Kolovskysky is even close to capacity. I know that sounds absolutely insane, but, um, but the coal mine is, is doing great work. The coal mine is, is pretty much 
is pretty much able to supply all these four. These four uh, ore processing facilities. Not quite to 100%, but we're not far off it. And to be to be honest, it's it's quite rare that we see less than 100% storage at the Kolovskysky large aggregate storage. And if we do see less than 100% uh, coal in this storage facility, chances are it'll be filled up pretty rapidly. So what we really need to do, if it's all possible, is zone another coal mine, which I know is a challenge. I know is a challenge. There's... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The vest source is in the middle of town. I can't do that. I can't... I can't do that. I can't do that. That's... Can I do that? I can probably do that. I can probably do that. The only problem is, of course, pollution. We've already... <laughs> we've already seen what the pollution will do. Yeah, I really shouldn't move. I really shouldn't move the coal mine any further across here. Maybe I do need to look for another coal source. I was really optimistic that I wouldn't have to. I was really optimistic that I wouldn't have to. The other thing to consider is that as long as... I'm like, there's no coal sources. There's like none. There is a coal source like over here. This is a, uh, this is a town that we've done exactly nothing with. There's two coal sources right here on the back of this mountain. Now, I'm interested. I'm interested. But honestly, I thought that we would just be able to... I thought that we'd be able to plonk down one last coal mine, and that would sort us right out, but apparently not. I mean, we could just settle for a, a bit of a bit of a crappy coal mine. I'm not actually necessarily against that. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this, this. Yeah, you know, so there is a little bit of value out here to be, to be had. Yeah, I, I don't actually think that that's necessarily terrible. Let's build that. Uh, we can almost certainly walk that distance between the bus stop and the coal mine. And that will be able to fairly easily feed into this area here. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be it's going to be enough to get us across the line, and that's what's uh, that's what's kind of important. And if we're able to do this, then that just means that we have to rely on imports from the border a little bit less, and that's uh, and that's quite important. Also, our big old boat is back. Our big old our big old boat is back, and uh, dare I suggest that it's never been better. Holy cow, we are exporting so much bauxite now that it's that it's actually ridiculous. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. In fact, look at... We're pretty much... I don't want to say that we're necessarily loading this ore carrier at max speed. In fact, both of them were probably not loading at max speed. But we can't be far off it. We can't be far off it. And that's basically all of the throughput from all of these facilities. Just going right into here, right into here. So that's great. That's really, really good. The other thing that I did say that I wanted to get set up... Oh my goodness, we've got so much aluminium here. I need to get more. I need to get more aluminium stuff. Uh, I also want to start exporting the raw bauxite as well. We can start exporting the raw bauxite from this harbor here as well. Uh, that's looking pretty darn good. The aluminium plant, frankly, I don't think has ever been more productive. In fact, it is so productive that I am going to buy another boat right now. Mark my words, I'm going to buy another boat right now. Uh, Medium-sized school at Kolovskysky that has caught fire. That will definitely be extinguished. There's 12, there's 12 firefighters right over here. Uh, we can definitely, we can definitely fix that. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, so let's buy that boat. Let's buy that, let's buy that aluminium shipping boat right now. It's from here that we can get it. We'll buy cargo ships, hopper. Nope, nope. Is river, is the river cargo ship really the best? We'll buy one Hercules. We'll buy one Hercules open open storage. The other Hercules that we have in service are uh, are only for aggregate, so we can't use it. Okay, cool. We will do beyond western borders. Then we will come back to here. Excuse me. Click on that. There we go. Load, and then beyond Soviet borders. Although, to be honest... To be honest, do I ever really need to go beyond Soviet borders? No. Let's just continue to go beyond uh, Western borders. Uh, there was a very, very great comment. I don't know why I'm chatting about uh, chatting about all the comments that everyone made uh, so uh, so deeply over the course of 
this little episode here. Uh, but the comments were really, really great on, on the last episode. And uh, as I say, really appreciate them. Uh, there was somebody who did a calculation all about <laughs> the ruble loan and all of the crazy amount of money that I was uh, that I was repaying. Uh, basically, the upshot is, if I'm to believe the commenter, which of course I absolutely do, because I, I feel like of everyone who watches these videos, I'm probably the stupidest. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna as I say take the word of the of, of the person who who did the maths literally, and uh, the upshot is is that the ruble loan situation is actually okay actually okay we're making we're making plenty of money, uh, and the dollars are a little bit less certain. So I think maybe if we can boost our dollars a little bit, boost our dollar income, we can pay back some of these loans. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to be a little bit more reserved, as you'll already have seen. I you know. I didn't rush into to auto purchasing these buildings, did I? No, I no, I didn't. So uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to pay off the the debts that I've uh, that I've racked up, which is uh, somewhat important. Anyway, uh, so that's good. Have we got any aircraft that are in storage? We must have an aircraft that's almost done. We kind of do. That's great. The Lubiano, the brand new Lubiano, is almost complete. I think we might sell this one actually. Like we definitely don't need. Well, do we need a second one? We could maybe do with a second one, but definitely not three. It's just because they take such a long time to unload that having more in circulation would be kind of great. The other comment that I was going to touch on was my importing of electronic components and plastics and fabrics and mechanical components. Getting that set up would be great. And if I'm able to get a brand new steel mill, it would be brilliant. It would be really, really, really good if I could set up some sort of a some sort of an electronics assembly hall maybe even in this vicinity maybe even in this vicinity i i don't know we would uh, we would have to wait and see certainly certainly i'm optimistic that it could happen right so uh in terms of the plan what is the plan for the steel mill given that i'm turning my attention to the steel mill now what we're gonna do is we're gonna demolish all this. We're going to demolish all this. We're going to reconnect it up later. Famous last words. I know. Uh, we're going to demolish this. There we go. Fine. Take this back. And that should give us more than enough space here. Now, am I going to be able to construct this steel mill without without purchasing it? I think I might try. I think I might try. I don't think there's, any, there's necessarily any rush. I mean, as long as the finances look good at the moment, which they do, we shouldn't really have to worry about it. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a steel mill. Now, the steel mill needs to be orientated... Orientated? Needs to be oriented thusly. Probably about over here. Yep, so let's get that down. Next thing that I want to do is check the path length. I'm pretty sure the path length is going to be just... That, the path length is going to be just fine to the to the station there. Uh, the other thing that we need to consider is the route of the tracks and the route of the exports. So, let's zone the open storage facility first. Okay, we'll maybe try... Yeah, maybe try something like that. That would be good. If we could get that in there like so. The other thing that we need to consider is that we've got all of these access points to the steel mill that I'm just not using. Uh, we could definitely have trains coming to collect steel in here. Or we could deliver coal. We could deliver uh, iron. We could deliver that stuff directly. But that's not really my, my intention. My intention is to... My intention is to just leave those leave those spare. It's always good to have a, an expansion opportunity. Um... If, if we need to, to deliver more resources at some point. And you know what? We may need them. We may need them because what I'm about to do next is have a little look. Let's have a little look to see if there is any conceivable way that we can maybe stretch this facility out this way. There is, there is a way. I, I saw it. I did indeed see it. I, I saw the... That's good. Any any chance of slipping past this house? <laughs> there is, actually. That's the crazy thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. 
This is a this is an adventure, isn't it? Holy cow. Can we maybe stretch a little bit further? No, apparently not. Okay, good. But I mean that's not bad. That's pretty good. That's exactly where we want it to be going. Although, actually, we should uh, we should not do that because there is there is another important route that we're going to need to get set up here. Okay, I don't know why I've got it paused for this. We uh, we don't necessarily need to be paused whilst we're doing this. Whew, okay, so I've left a uh, very little space here for the pathway to run, but we'll ditch that nonetheless. There's still access around here for sure, but we're we're probably going to try and reconnect that path uh, if we can. Let's see if we can maybe try and shoot for something like... Uh, get it to the other side of the railway if you can. Potato, I think. That's a good plan. And then just cut this off here. Yeah, demolish that there. Okay, so that's the iron supply route. And to be honest, that's just grand. That's just grand. We're continuing to work on the, uh, the iron ore excavation pro uh, project at the moment. Getting this area up and running would be great. Uh, it would be really, really good, in fact, if we could, but uh, but we'll worry about that in just a second. Uh, also, I did say that I could leave the game to run, but there's probably been a power shortage on all of the rails. There may be a power shortage. Also, there's a building on fire. Where is the building on fire? Uh, it's a pretty important building, actually. It's a pretty important building. Fire truck was called and is headed to the fire. Now, is this the fire truck from... It's the fire truck from here. Okay, there used to be some issues with this with this fire station. As we all know, there were some problems. There were some problems. I think they've been rectified, so that's great. Anyway, uh, back to back to the uh, the task at hand, the steel mill. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Okay, so that's the iron route. The problem, the problem will be, the problem will be the coal. Now, I I had an idea for the coal route. I don't think I don't think y'all are gonna like it, but it's okay. Um, we'll give it a shot nonetheless. So, here's my plan. Yes, it may it may begin to show. That's right. Sincerely, I do indeed plan to completely circumnavigate the world. Uh, but most importantly, I I intend to circumnavigate the. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, I intend to circumnavigate the steel plant right here. And it's going to be jank, but that's what you get, frankly. That's what you get. That's what you get with, uh... That's what you get when you don't plan for a second steel mill. Never in a million years did I think that a second steel mill would be uh, would be in place. Also, there was a great comment about holding control to get rid of all of the, uh, the plans. And by getting rid of all the plans, you don't place the... You don't auto-place the paths. And it's the pads that are messing up the uh, the placement of the towers, the the conveyor towers. I did have a sneaking suspicion that that was what it was. I think I may have conveyed uh, just exactly that. But to have it confirmed, and uh, this nice little workaround is uh, is pretty nifty. Okay, let's do that in there. Nice. Can we? Is that not going to work? That's very surprising. Okay, I mean, that's... Again, that's very surprising to me that that doesn't have the angle there. Building in the way. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So it's the... Uh, it's the thickness of the legs. These legs that is not going to fit in between that gap there. Honestly, completely fine with that. If we need to, if we need to take a little bit of a longer diversion, then we need to take a little bit of a longer diversion. That's right. It's the potato way. It's the potato way. We shall, we shall prevail. Okay. Good. Uh, I, I don't know why I care about this road. Like this road is like far and away the least important thing here. We can absolutely categorically find a better. A better road route than that. As long as we leave space for it, of course. Okay, a little bit of twisting. Not bad. Perfect, I dare say. Uh, and then... We gotta come over here. Ideally, yep, we... 
Now try start heading towards the steel mill. Beautiful. Can we get it done in one conveyor? It's so tantalizingly close. That's it. That's it right there. And then, if we're able to make this connect up... My goodness, we absolutely blooming are. That's the route. That is the route. It's jank. Am I happy with it? Yes. The reason that I'm happy with it, the reason that it's important, is that it allows us to continue to use this large aggregate storage as the same sort of hub. And this is, this is important. This is very important, actually. Very, very important. Because we can increase capacity, or we can increase the number of trains that we have loading and unloading at these two areas right now. Now... That may seem like a little bit of a like a little bit of a crazy thing to say when you think about it, because oh my goodness, these these aggregate unloading facilities are usually completely swamped with trains. True. However, um, we can introduce longer trains to collect from the the border, or alternatively, what I'm kind of hoping for is that eventually we're gonna get to a position. Once this facility is built, once this coal mine is up and running, I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, we can supply all of our coal locally to the uh, the steel production process. It's gonna be it's gonna be an ask for sure, but um, but it'll probably be it'll probably be entirely doable. Now, let's fix my problems. I need to take this back. I need to take this back. We're gonna basically give as wide a berth as we possibly can to the steel mill, whilst still making it look somewhat respectable. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. And then this is actually now better because we now have the steel route here. Yes, and we can decide to merge this whenever we want. Cool. We're gonna fund this. We're gonna fund this with uh, rubles. Yet, yeah, as I say, trying to trying to repay dollars, dollar loans is quite important. Uh, I don't think that there should really be any interruption to the, the service at the moment. The other thing that we need to consider is this, and then this. Beautiful. And so that will take the steel from the steel mill. Beautiful. Let's get it all built. Let's uh, let's see it all connected. Then let's reconnect the power cabling that I oh so hastily deconstructed. Again, trying to circumvent the steel mill as much as possible. Uh, where did I? Yeah. Okay. Right there. And this is probably a little bit a little bit of overkill if you'll recall I don't even think that necessarily all of these power cables are connected to something at the other end but I mean it doesn't particularly matter as long as it gets uh, as long as it gets power back into the system then that's what's important let's get this over here nice sharp corner looking good build up the steel again cracking okay now we need to just connect up some footpaths. And the downside to the downside to not automatically doing this is it means that I do occasionally have to automatically connect up footpads, and footpads do seem to make make a little bit of a squelchy noise. Uh, I'm not in love with that squelchy noise to be honest, uh, but I'm fine with it actually because footpads are ridiculously easy to connect up in comparison to pretty much everything. I wish everything had the the sort of flexibility of a footpath. They just go over absolutely everything. They really do. Gets connected up. Uh, we need to get, what, like some roads built over here. But this shouldn't be too much of an ask, he says. That's probably better. Yeah, approach it from that angle instead. Otherwise, we'll have to ditch the paths here, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, I think this should all be connected up. This should indeed be all connected up. Will it automatically be assigned construction offices? It will. That's great. There is a lot of stuff to be... There's a lot of stuff to be getting on with now. I I really sincerely believe that that's going to take a while for uh, for this to all be built. But it will be built, and that's and that's quite important. That is quite important that it'll all be built. Uh, did I miss any... Duh, 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 duh. Did I miss any of these things. No, I don't think I did. Uh, the other thing that we should probably consider, where are you picking up steel from at the moment? 
Yeah, let's let's give you a steel source. Let's give you a steel source too. Let's give you a, a nearby steel source as well. Yeah, so scrap that. Give you a steel source. We're going to give you the steel source right here. There we go. Right there. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to be happy with it as well. So that should theoretically mean that we're able to just get a little bit more... A little bit more steel into the loop. There we go. Steel is being depleted from here? Is this a shared storage, actually? Huh. I wonder if this is going to stop emptying as soon as this truck is done. No. This truck is still loading? Hmm. Interesting. 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 I never realized that if you parked a truck in the, in the steel mill that it could actually draw from the connected storages? Wow. Um... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with that. That's that's really cool. That's really cool. That's uh that's a nifty little that's a nifty little feature. That's a nifty little feature. Anyway, uh, there's a lot of construction work that needs to clearly happen over here and to be brutally honest, I don't think that it's going to be done for a considerable period of time. Maybe even worth us considering to add a few more construction offices. Add this one? Yeah, why is that not uh, connected up? Stalnoy, huge construction office. There we go. Get that connected up. Get them all connected up. All of these should now be able to be built, which is great. Delighted that we're going to be making progress on, uh, on this very important area very, very swiftly as well. It's really, really good. Okay, uh, do we still have excess workers here? We probably do. Almost certainly we we do. Yeah, look at the, look at the huge number of people that are still living with parents. I'm gonna keep these people living with their parents for now, and when I do in fact update the mods, we can uh, we can get a few brand new, we can get a few brand new housing buildings. I do have. Oh, actually, hold up. Uh, that'll probably be extinguished. Although in saying that, there ain't nobody working at this. Uh, yeah, there ain't nobody working there. Uh, we can easily fix this. We'll just nab, I don't know, a couple of people. Stick them there, and that should be just fine. There we go. Immediately sorted. And we just nab these folk. Nab these folk. Thank you. And distribute them back into their house. Over here. Right, there were 11 people spare, which makes me think that perhaps we need to get some more accurate intel on exactly what's going on at this accounting office here. The other thing to consider is that this accounting office is in an absolutely terrible place, and I despise it, so we're going to destroy it. Equipment for citizens, uh, d -d -d city hall accounting office. Let's plonk this down over here. Let's get this built. Let's get this built very, very rapidly. We have a lot of building capacity over here, and I would expect that we would use it. I would hope that we would use it. There we go. Jump into jump into action, please. There's got to be a couple of people living living at home without their uh, without their parents there for sure. It might even be possible to sustain life over here. No, tell a lie. Uh, the temperatures are just far too cold. Also, I think we can expect snow pretty much any day now. It's, it's consistently like minus six uh, or thereabouts, which is kind of worrying. Also, where on earth did our aluminium ship go? I suspect, yeah, I suspect the aluminium ship, ship took uh, pretty much everything that we that we had. Also, the big old the big old boat is gone. The big old boat is gone. Wowzers. I suspect also that the aluminium boat has arrived uh, at the border, hence why we're making a whole heck of a lot of money. Also, the snow has now arrived, which is uh, big sad. Big, 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 big sad. I uh, I hate snow. It's just awful, awful stuff. Dreadful, dreadful stuff. We got an aircraft. We do indeed have an aircraft. We can sell this. You know, the crazy thing is that we haven't even come close. We haven't even come close to financial troubles over the course of this episode. Everything is running super smoothly. I'm pretty sure that we're exporting pretty much everything that we possibly need to. You just everything is working. You know how crazy that sounds to actually say? 
Everything is literally working. I, I, I'm in a state of, I'm in a state of shock. I'm in a state of shock. Ooh, actually, something else that I should mention. If I am gonna build, if I am gonna build a nuclear production facility, it'll probably be over here. Just for reference, it'll probably be over here because it kind of needs to be near this corner of the, the map. This is where we've got pretty much everything. We've got a good amount of steel. We've got a good amount of construction offices. Uh, it's just something to consider, you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna do nuclear stuff It'll it'll be here, but again, I'm not super bothered about doing nuclear stuff not at this moment in time. Anyway, we can always We can always uh, we can always do that later if indeed the need arises and uh, in my opinion the need just hasn't really arisen At least not yet it very well might at some point but um but it hasn't quite yet. Anyway, the other thing that I was going to consider with this area was, of course, the establishment of a facility, or at least an area, should I say, where we are able to construct advanced parts for mechanical components and stuff like that. What is it? Where is it? Uh, various industries. Here it is. Mechanical components factory. Literally just consumes steel. Consumption at maximum production is 22 tons. How much does this output? 43 tons? Plastics factory? No. Electrical components factory? Maybe. Electronics assembly? Mechanical components is something that I would like to do. I feel like this is almost certainly a bad idea. However, it's also kind of a great idea, I think. Famous last words. Connecting this connecting this directly up to the to the steel mill. Advantages, disadvantages. Advantages is very cool. Uh, disadvantages, it means that we can't control the input of steel into the into the facility. Advantage means that we don't need to transport necessarily. Another advantage. We have the uh, we have the infrastructure here. We have the infrastructure here to deal with to deal with more facilities. Is it within range? If we were to build it on the back side of the steel mill? Probably. Let's, let's zone it out, actually. I kind of like this idea. I kind of like this idea. I don't know why I'm just sort of gravitating towards it in a very strange way. Uh, yeah, so something like this. Yep. Excellent. Cool. Cool. Is that within range? It is... That's not within range. The reason it's not within range is because it's not connected, Potato. This... Oh, it actually... No, tell a lie. It is, it, is, uh, it is connected. It's just... It must be out of range. Okay. Is that within range now? It's not. It must be very close. It must be very, very close. Yes. Is that within range now? It's not. Hmm. It's not. Okay, uh ditch this. Try again. I'm I'm actually kind of leaning towards this. As I say, I don't know why, but we're going to give it a shot. Also, I'm very well aware that I'm using like the worst of the worst paths and probably it will be comfortably within range when I actually start, you know, building gravel. Uh, but you know, for now we can we can still tweak it to make it a little bit uh, a little bit better. Uh, the reason that I didn't want to build this too far over was because I know that we're going to want to see. I might be able to even build it here, and then just connect it up with the factory connection anyway. Too long. Okay, I think I didn't used to think that that was the case where you could. I thought you could. I thought you could make them a little bit longer than the uh, the auto build would show you. But apparently that's that's not the way that it is. Also, there's definitely some sort of weird nonsense going on with factory connections. I think factory connections can be shorter if they're between buildings, like the the ones that are between uh, forklift facilities. You know, like the ones that we've got over at Potato Grad. The factory connections over there are huge. Look, look at that one. That's massive. But that's just between two two factory crossings. So I guess that there's something in that. I don't know though. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's let's experiment with this because there's. There's there's something here. There's something here for sure. 
we could, of course, decide to use uh, forklifts, but uh, I'd rather not, actually. I'd rather not, for very, very highly obvious reasons. Uh, the primary reason being that they're pretty garbage. Right, so that's kind of a funky, that's kind of a funky angle, but I hope you can understand why. It's so that I can get the footpath, like, literally as close to here as possible. Seriously, that doesn't want to work? Okay, we gotta, we gotta try. I mean, it's gonna cost us all of, what, a thousand rubles? Two thousand rubles? Two thousand rubles? Hey, look at that. 350 meters. 350 meters. We got it. Okay. Also, this angle means that the uh, the tracks are still very much uh, possible. Still very possible for us to connect the, uh, the tracks up if indeed we need to. Let's add that in there like so. Okay, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. Also, uh, there's always a good number of comments about how I need more snow plows. I don't necessarily disagree with you. In fact, I think that probably... There are power issues. There are power issues almost certainly happening right now somewhere across the uh, the, the Glorious Republic because I haven't had the, the foresight to set up uh, a good snow plowage system. But there we go. Anyway, one mechanical components factory is good. Is it possible to get another second one up on up online here? Could maybe be possible. It could maybe be possible, but here's the thing. If we get a second facility up and running, that would actually consume more steel than we output per day. So 22 tons of steel. Yeah, so 22 tons of steel at maximum production. We produce up to 43 tons per day from this facility right here. Doing the maths, one steel mill would basically satisfy two mechanical component factories. I honestly think 15 tons of mechanical components, which is basically what we're going to get, I think that's got to be good enough. I think that's going to be good enough. I mean, this area is highly, highly, highly efficient. I don't imagine a future where we're not producing close to 15 tons of mechanical components per day. Like, I, I, I think we'll... I think we'll manage. I think we'll get there. I think we'll definitely get there. Yeah, for sure. This is... This is good. This is all... This is all looking very, very good. Apart from, of course, the fact that there is... Very little... Very little activity over here because everything is driving so darn slowly. But hey ho. Anyway, can we pay a couple of can we pay a couple of loans off? I think we actually can. I think we actually can. We can pay off some of the highest. Seven point four. Yeah. Four hundred thousand. Yeah, get that paid off. Uh, seven point three, seven point five. Ooh, seven point five. We could pay off. Actually, we will pay off. There we go, get that paid off. That brings us down to 1.3. Uh, these two we could pay off, or be very close to paying off. What's the rate that we can borrow at? 7%? 7% not bad. 7% not bad at all. 7% is not bad at all. Is it that worth it? Probably not. We can definitely pay this back off. Let's pay that off. Not enough money for this refund. Sure, whatever. Just, I don't know, 600,000. There we go. Get that paid off. That leaves us with uh, 700,000, give or take. We need to maintain a float. We need to maintain a float for sure, so we shouldn't pay... We shouldn't We shouldn't pay off any more loans. That's, that's just fine. Uh, ruble loans in the meantime as well... I tell you what, it would be really nice if you could sort by percentage rates so that I could see what's uh, what's costing me the most. I think the highest that we have is like 6 point something, right? Yeah, 6.6? 6 point... 6 point 6.7? 6 6.7 is the highest. We owe 1.2. I actually would feel pretty comfortable um, paying that off. Uh, 75,000. Yeah, there we go. Pretty comfortable paying that off because we are very, very good for rubles at the moment. Yeah, we are very, very good for rubles. Man, we are exporting so much, so much bauxite. Crazy thing is that we're exporting this massive amount of bauxite at the same time. 
at the same time as turning almost all of our bauxite into aluminium. That's the crazy thing. Wow. Truly, this is this is great. If we could get a couple of extra houses in, uh, in Illuminov, that would be wonderful. Also, we may need to think about longer, bigger trains. Maybe not even more houses, just transporting more of the people that we have here. Because we are almost seeing... 100% maxed out production at the uh, at the alumina plants here. That's very impressive. I gotta be honest. That is very, very impressive. Yeah. We could almost certainly justify the construction of a second alumina plant, actually. Also, where are our chemicals? Oh, I guarantee you the chemical shipments have been delayed because... Uh, chemical shipments will have been delayed because of snow. That's right. Snack. It's uh, it's slowing us down. We got 73 tons of chemicals here, and probably, probably most of uh, most of our shipments are tied up on the road at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, there are five, five vehicles on the line. Can we get a couple more? Actually, that would just make me feel a little bit more comfortable with this route, because there's what 70 tons of chemicals waiting. There we go. One more there. Yeah, sure. That seems pretty reasonable. We've got 70 tons of chemicals literally waiting to be transported. And there are there are very little use. Very little use over here. There are lots of use over here. There we go. Also, this looks like a weird smiley face, doesn't it? It looks like a flower. Looks like a flower with a smiley face. Hold on, how do I uh, how do I clean this up without making it without losing its effect? It actually looks more <laughs> it actually looks more uh, more defined in the snow, which is <laughs> which is somewhat amusing. Very 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 interesting. Anyway, that's just uh, just something something to note there. Yeah, we could almost certainly do with the second uh, alumina plant here. 33 tons of uh, aluminium oxide in comparison to 52 tons of consumed aluminium oxide. I mean, if we wanted to get another plant, how difficult would that be? Not very, actually. Not very at all. So this is a redundant... This is a redundant line now. Let's get this demolished. Got to be so careful when using the demolish tool. So, so, so careful. Right. Uh, again, I just, I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of construction potential that we're really not using. How are we doing over here? We're waiting for asphalt? Yeah, okay, we need to almost certainly do something about that. We got bitumen by the boatload as well, but we're just not using it to build asphalt in, uh, different places around the map. We're only... We're what? We're only making it in one singular place, I think. Metallurgy, aluminium plants. Oh, goodness. It's so difficult to see what the heck is going on. Um, let me do terrain level height from center. And let's just absolutely demolish this mountain over here because we can, because we've got the nuclear bulldozer. I tell you what, I'm in love with a nuclear bulldozer. That's really something. That really is something. Honestly, it just makes everything so much easier. I mean, it does cost an absolute arm and a leg. Maybe we could even think about making them at our vehicle assembly area. That'd be kind of nice. There we go. Flatten out. Make everything look... Uh... Yeah, make everything look good. Okay. Alumina plants. Let's, uh, let's see if we can try and think about this. Oh, starting to snow. That's worrying. Always worrying. Get that down over yonder. Loop this around to here. Good stuff. Now... We just need to consider how we're going to make this work. I mean, is this a splitty? This is a splitty right here. But we should really split from right in here. Because that will be the product of all three of these processing facilities. Yeah, okay. And it's going to give us some uses for the, the raw bauxite as well here. This is good. This is really, really good. This is good. This is very good. I'm 
Okay. We need to make the perilous journey down this side of the road. And the good news is that this road can be fully demolished. And no one will care. Apart from the fire brigade when they inevitably have to find a way to get to a... To get to a burning facility. Uh, okay. You you don't want to you don't want to go in there. Okay, right. Well, that's the the new area that we're going for. Building is on fire. I hate how the demolished building is also the sound effect for the. Uh, for the for the building being demolished by fire, they're, they're the two they're the two same sound effect and uh, two same sound effects and frankly it do be terrifying. Uh, right, let me let me uh, let me go back here. Okay, cool. I feel like this episode has been mostly like planning, but like all of the planning that I've done is guaranteed to come in super duper handy. I'm actually really happy with all of the the changes that have been made here because we're starting to trust we're starting to trust the game to do a little bit more infrastructure construction. And that is somewhat important. Go connect that up, connect that up. Anything else that needs to be connected up over here? Not really. Is this auto zoning? No construction uh, offices within range. Oh, yes, that's um rather a pickle. I did say that there would perhaps be a connection here, but it turns out this road was never connected to anything anyway. Hardy, hardy, har. How hilarious is that? That's quite the... Quite... Quite amusing. Okay. Now that should all work, and uh, I do indeed think that everything should work smoothly here. That hasn't been found. Ah, it's not connected up. Cool. Now that should auto-assign. Brilliant. It absolutely does. That's looking very, very good. We're still managing to move all of the aluminium here. We're all we're all good on on the aluminium front actually. That's looking great. Man, this is this is feeling spicy. This is feeling really really spicy. And look at that. We're beginning to we're beginning to load up on bauxite again. I am still shocked at how unbelievably efficient this actually is. Makes you think, right? Makes you think that with a second one of these a second one of these boats, the process is going to be even more freaking flawless. It's going to work really, really well. In fact, we're just about to finish the construction of a brand new aircraft. And we haven't even... We haven't even worried about finances once over the course of this episode. In fact, we paid off loans. How great is that? How great is that? Also, I want to start making a brand new aircraft. I know that I've said that a couple of times, but by golly gosh, I really do. Also, we're selling for a lot more. These things are selling for a lot more than they used to. They used to only sell for like 360-something, I think. It was definitely like sixty thousand dollars or sixty something thousand dollars. What the heck changed the price so much? Maybe everyone likes aircraft now. Is that is that what's going on? Have the price of our tractors changed? I hope so. More tractors, the merrier. That's that's what I always say. The more tractors, the merrier. Uh, right. Nothing burnt down in the fire, did it? Fire extinguished. Great. Happy days. Just checking. Uh, I think tourism, yeah, tourism is in a pretty good place at the moment. We do need to still think about having, like, domestic tourist flights. I do genuinely want to to get domestic tur tourist flights up and running. Uh, you know, one, you know, flights that connect the one half of the map to the other half of the map. And in fact, we're, we're probably getting to that stage where we can think about doing that because we've got some construction offices over here that could probably be drafted in to maybe help build an airfield in this vicinity, but in saying that, it's still blooming miles away. There's just so much distance in this map. I don't know why it feels so far away and always so lonely, but there's there's just so much distance. Also, what the heck is going on? Why is there a full thing of steel here? Uh, where's the steel train, actually, please? Excuse me, pardon? Where are the steel trains? There's a connection problem. Right, let's look at them both independently. Uh, what? Are there any issues here? I don't think there should be any issues. Did I mess up the directionality of the... 
Wait, what? Oh, that's... That's sneaky video game. I don't know how that happened. Right, will that fix it? Wow, that's that's really sneaky. Uh, and what about you? You are... You are literally about to go to the border and you're about to make me another $500,000. Wow. You can't argue with that. You really can't argue with that. That's... That's pretty blooming good, if I do indeed say so myself. Yeah, that's, um, that's real strange. That's real strange. Don't understand why that happened. Uh, but we are now pretty much full of steel. We are full of steel. And that's great in a sense, but it's also terrible in a sense. Here comes this. Brilliant. And let's get you loaded up. Okay, that's good. At least we're at least we're no longer at least we're no longer throwing steel down the drain. That's that's fine. Have we made any progress on on anything here? Gravel, concrete. How far do do trucks have to drive in order to get gravel and or concrete? It might be. It might be too far. It might be worth us getting another gravel processing area. In fact, that's a great idea, actually. That's a really, really good idea for Stalnoy. Because we still have so much extra capacity here. Stalnoy is just continuing to grow. I really, really like the way that Stalnoy is designed. There's a clear way that we can just make this area grow a lot. Also, what the heck is this? What the heck was going on there? I've never seen that before. That wasn't that wasn't a question mark. That was a uh, it was an exclamation mark. Very weird. Anyway, the upgrade path is, of course, getting rid of these old houses and just replacing them with the brand new 21-story prefab flats. Alternatively, just getting rid of, you know, one of these one of these old houses that we've got sitting right in the center of town. And we can replace them uh, with a whole bunch of these. We can, like, pick, I don't know, four or five maybe on the, the footprint of the old, the old house there. And that's pretty much connecting everything up. There's extra capacity in the train station. There's obviously the option to double up the uh, the trams, which we've got here as well. We could uh, we could double their length, like we've done in a couple of places around the map. It's always a decent option. I haven't checked deaths and births in a while, but oh my goodness, deaths and births. Yeah, they're totally fine. Births have outnumbered deaths in the December month, and they have also done it in the January month quite considerably. If I'm uh, if I'm being honest, so I'm I'm pretty impressed with how that's working out. It's concrete, 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 concrete is a big old problem. Basically, I think if we want to build an airport in this vicinity, we need to think about concrete. We need to think about asphalt. We need to think about producing it locally because otherwise, there's basically a zero percent chance that we're going to be able to build it ourselves quickly. Uh, yeah, basically. That's the upshot of this situation. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to expand our gravel processing operation. Although that being said, I don't think it's gonna be too difficult because I suspect that there is probably a. If I, I'm pretty sure that's a gravel deposit right there. I don't love the idea of building it so close to uh, so close to a town, but it's definitely an option if there is nothing. If there's nothing else around, this might end up being pretty decent over here as well. Let me let me have a little look at this. I don't think that we're gonna be able to do that right now. Gravel quarry. Although to be honest, gravel quarries don't even output that much. They don't even they don't even output that much uh, pollution. It's the processing facilities that output the pollution, but the the processing facilities can just be built like over here, far away from the town, and we can just bust people out and use the conveyor belts uh, from the modded gravel quarry in order to transport the gravel out there. Where is it? Gravel Processing V2. That's the one. And then there's also the Gravel Quarry V2, which is mine. Gravel Quarry V2. Yeah, and this is what we're going to use in order to in order to get gravel out. And to be honest, we could actually use a nuclear excavator. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. I'll put this down as a reminder for myself to, to explore at some point in the future. Probably forget about it, but if we do, not necessarily the end of the world. We're going to need to find some way to build airports anyway. I suspect that I may rediscover this at some point in the future. Anyway, folks, thank you, as ever, for watching this episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. Thanks, as ever, to the fantastic support over on the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Open Potato. Thanks to Banana, Nana, Nasty, Senpai, and Aurelio from the $325 players to your patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.